morning everyone we are coming to you live via facebook streaming youtube streaming and also via skype each one of you is welcome to this live streaming from our studios in trinidad sutras of vigyan bhairav tantra tantra is pure science before i go into this what is my purpose to give you a methodology how to attain to a particular state there is two ways if you ask how you frame your question how you ask your question that determines which direction your mind wants to take you remember your mind is priestly it is guided by priestly innovations priestly thinking if you ask who is buddha you enter into the realm of philosophy or if you ask the question what is a buddha then you are going into methodology that can help you to become a buddha also now i the priests never want you to go into methodology because that will be the end of their business now the hindus do during shivratri worship of shiva it is a great opportunity all the businessmen wait for that occasion because the priest gives you a list and sometimes the list is available at the shops that you need this amount this 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 thing so each one may spend a 100 or 200 dollars to buy the ingredients just as fathers day is a great occasion for businessmen mothers day so these are the occasions so priest gives you but what do you understand has there been you had been doing this prayer for life long your father was doing you are doing and this process will continue can you say that there has been transformation in your life i'll tell you what does shiva symbolizes it is said that during the time of the churning of the ocean this is the story the poison came out nobody wanted to consume the poison and if it was left otherwise it would have been would have destroyed the humanity so they approach shiva shiva drank that poison but if it if you drink that poison it will destroy you but he kept in his throat why there is a significance in keeping in throat if it had gone below it would have destroyed the entire digestive system the heart system the breathing system if it had gone in the brain it would have destroyed the thinking pattern the mind so he kept between the head and the body in throat now this is one thing when you look at the shiva's emblem there are diverse animals they in the family this concert devi is there her vehicle is lion his son ganesh has his vehicle mouse these all the diverse elements are together and they are not in conflict like see the heat and cold 
they are against one another. How can you be angry and not angry at the same time? This is the equanimity, the balance between the two. When you somebody says something to you, it is unpleasant what you do. You express it. You express your displeasure, dissatisfaction towards that. Use the, the words that are not needed at that time because throat is the center of expression. It is guided by two things, your mind which is understanding and the heart which is the center of your love. So between the understanding and love there has to be a balance. So the poison, the word poison symbolizes each time we have to swallow, swallow the poison. The unpleasant words that do not appeal to us. Somebody says you are this, you are very arrogant. You say, Who says that I am arrogant? I am not. So immediately you express. Then it is a point of introspection. Why did this person say that you are arrogant? Somewhere his emotions would have hurt and he made that comment. So you have to create a balance between the two. This is the reason that this symbol, that poison in his neck and that's why his neck became blue because of the poison. He is known as the one wearing the blue throat, Neil Kunt. Kunt means throat, Neil means blue. So this has nothing to do with Hinduism or Christianity or Islam. Symbol. Now when I explain to you these ten qualities, according to Hindus you need not be believing in gods. One aspect of that. You need not believe in the Hindu scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana or anything, but you must have ten qualities in you to be a human being. That is the human religion and those ten qualities are compassion, daya. Are you compassionate towards your person? I will, when I explain that right now, let me explain the Shiva symbol. It has nothing to do with Hinduism or Christianity or Islam. The same way, the symbol of the Holy Prophet Mira Sharif, it has a symbol, it has a meaning to it. If you learn that meaning, you can attain to that understanding which the Holy Prophet had. Oh, this understanding that Shiva has, then what will happen? Your life will begin to transform. Your personality, your being should be developed in such a manner that all the conflicts, the, like see the, the lion has a tendency around his neck there are snakes. Snakes feed on mouse. So the very tendency of the snake is to, is to prey on mouse. Mouse is afraid of snakes. But in the Shiva symbol, the snakes and mouse are together and they are not afraid of one another. Now Parvati's, his concert symbol, the vehicle, <coughs> is lion. Lion preys on ox and Shiva's <coughs> vehicle is ox called Nandi. So what happens there, the opposing forces leave their tendencies. The 
snake is no more has the tendency of preying on the innocent animals lion does not do that so you create a situation in you so the people who are very methodological or masters two people are at loggerhead with one another they come to the master master can you help me to solve this problem so now the two who do not want to see each other and can never be face to face with one another they are together in that presence so shiva is that presence where the conflicting elements lose their aggressive tendencies and they are in harmony they are living in harmony if you can understand a single quality of that your life will be transformed but if that happens so all those people who are running to the temple they will not be going and the priestly business will be lost and not only that all that system that has been created the priest tells you that you know that you have this problem you have to do the this particular prayer for that what what is needed you ask the priest he said you go to that particular puja shop and they will give you the necessary ingredients or he may have a list of these these these, these items so it is a completely business religion has become a business for me religion is not a business is a way of life i will not stop you from doing that nothing is wrong in doing that but if you can understand that now milk is offered milk is symbol of the coolness the shiva symbol of shivalingam it has a dome shape it is a source of energy if you go to modern day nuclear reactors the way they are developed or shaped it has a dome shape on that on top because tremendous heat is generated there so even long time when we used to have the computers which were uh, which were used to occupy the entire room the big cat computers using the algol fortran and cobol languages i remember when i was studying we had to go to the computer room it was completely air conditioned because tremendous heat is generated so the it is this is normal we understand that it is generating heat but when a religious symbol happens we raise fingers towards it and the complete is used to be very cold in those rooms you will recall that now we do not need even the cooling fan for your laptop sometimes if it is malfunctioning that you may use it so if you can learn from this symbol something then there will be a transformation so when somebody asks a question about this or that it shows that you are not interested in transformation you are interested only in philosophical content philosophy is like what is the difference between philosophy i'll tell you you want to come to trinidad or i am coming to chicago so does the map of chicago represent chicago is the map of chicago is chicago no there is an existential chicago this is an image and this image helps you to know the about chicago not chicago 
and we do not raise the fingers. When a religion uses the symbols, we raise the fingers. The map of Chicago, it will help you. You have the map in your pocket. You cannot keep Chicago in your pocket, but you can keep the map in your pocket or you can go into Google map and from that you can see the directions, the periphery and then all the other things. It's you can know about it that this is the population of Chicago, this is the land area, this is the um, the rivers and because it is situated on the uh, the southwestern shore of Lake Chicago, Lake Michigan. So you will see that or you know about it. Yes, Chicago is, is a city in United States. You know that it is famous for this. It is situated on the southeast, southwestern bank of Lake Michigan. Uh, uh, the, then certain other things will be, if you look at the, the pamphlet that is there available for tourists, so you know the tourist spots. So from that you can get assistance that, oh I want to visit this place or Lincoln Memorial Link, or this here or that and museums, this and that and so. So it will help you only in that matter. But if you take the map and you pass the finger over it, does it mean you have visited Chicago? No. In order to do that, it is existential. You have to face, while you are going through the map, you don't have to worry about rain, you don't have to worry about the sun, you don't have to worry about the cold. You can sit down in your office, in your room and say that I have visited Chicago. This is philosophy. But this cannot transform you. You can know about Chicago, but you will not know Chicago. In order to know Chicago, you have to walk. You have to go to the city, face all the inconveniences, the waiting time at the airport, then the transport, the cold wave, the sun, the rain, all these things, only then you will be able to explore what Chicago is. This is religion. This is religiosity. The very purpose of this is how to explore the religiosity and things about so Tantra is basically a science. <clears throat> there are people who consider sex to be sin. They never talk about it. So it is immoral to engage into it. Then there is the uh, people who are involved in it. So either morality or immorality, these are the two aspects. When morality loses its tendency, immorality loses its tendency, you, there is something that bridges you. Your understanding bridges the morality and immorality, the two shores. And that situation is immoral. You are neither moralist nor you are a moralist, you are not against sex, you are not in favor of it, but this is a science where scientifically <coughs> you are trying to understand it, go into it, so that you can come out of it. It, it is a science looks at it, science looks at it, this is investigation, <coughs> where, at what level you are. Many times people ask questions that has nothing to do with their transformation. Omar Khayyam in the Rubai says, what shall you gain or fool by talking about those who are drunk 
if you really want to know the effect of alcohol you have to drink it if you want to know the bliss of the marriage life you have to go into it by talking about those by talking about buddha or talking about holy prophet or ram or krishna will not help you unless you understand what the symbol represents what is the essence of it and how i can inculcate this quality in us we talk we read about we do the yajnas we do the ramayan satsang this and that and so has a single quality of that ram has come into you by having one quality of ram does not make you hindu or christian it makes you a human the quality is the he created a balance between he had two masters the one like say for instance you are all some of you are the follower of sheik nasim now you are listening to me is there any conflict between the two so certain th- at different stages you go to to a school primary school there is a teacher then you go to a secondary school a different teacher maybe you had loved a teacher in the school level next one so does it mean you have abandoned that this person has taken you up to this he was a vehicle this vehicle has taken you up to that spot this train has taken you up to that terminal from there you have to take a change of train because your destination is to reach somewhere you have to take sometimes in certain places we have to take change one or two trains or sometimes even more to reach or we have to change the flights does it mean the flight that you have enjoyed the plane that you have sit in you have abandoned that or you are disliked about uh, you have you are have developed a disliking about it no you have learned certain things from up to here then you go to the college then you go to the university each time when you are doing the specialization your professor is different one but when you meet the professor who was your professor at the level of the school level or the college level you do not have a disrespect about him he was teaching you when your level of understanding was <coughs> less now i will recall when i had come many many years ago i had one of my nephew he asked one day his father daddy how children are born he did not know how to answer because normal way of living and developing we are given theories when the mother is sleeping the egg god drops the child by the side of the mother and all the angel and this is how the children are born we live with that he did not know how to answer this 5 year old child but 5 year old child has a different kind of level of understanding you have to explain to him from his level of understanding so he got did not know what to do he went and had a couple doses of alcohol so he asked me uncle do you know how children are born i said yes i know he said how i said what is your favorite subject in this school he said i like agriculture i said what you do in agriculture he said i wait for that day and it is one day in a week i said what you do he said there is like see the you know the, the teacher tells us that we are going to do the agriculture so we take a pot prepare the soil we prepare the soil <coughs> we put the fertilizer we that is what we do one day and the next day 
next week in the next class we do something else so in different stages so I said the, you prepare the flower pot and what you put in that is a manure then we put some water and allow it to rest then next week we go and take a seed and plant into it and then keep on watering and watching them slowly and slowly the seed burst it is the process I said exactly like this children are born the mother has the soil she has the flower pot and the flower pot has the fertilized soil and daddies have the seed so daddies come and plant the seed he said that's true I was wondering and I was thinking that the children are born like that now if I tell him at that this thing would he accept it because at that level of being a five-year-old child you cannot explain to him how the children are born so your primary school teacher had told you something which is quite contrary to what your science teacher at college level tells you or your professor at university level teaches you about the, the alchemy or chemistry or physics or astrophysics or like. in the primary school you had only one subject science at the school level expense a little bit at the level of the college you go into specialization physics chemistry and if you are going into physics different aspects of physics different aspects of chemistry so on and so forth <coughs> so there is no conflict between you learn certain things up to here from this master then you are going to the next master so what the teacher sees you the master looks at you at tantra looks at it looks at you at what level you are you have traveled up to here your google map or ways tells you it first of all finds your location type your location when you type your location it knows where you are and from there it guides you where you have to go then you have to put it where you have to go what is your destination your present location and then it guides you gives you the direction to reach that place that is what the master does he sees where you are but sometimes we ask questions we take somebody else location somebody will ask a question and you take that person's question and consider it as your question somebody else question cannot be your question that's why when I have questions I give it a cosmic approach to that question so that it can benefit everyone people are strained why am I talking about sex alone because that's the point where everyone is stuck for one reason or the other and they are not in a position to come out of their own I am not interested in that but what do I do in order to bring you out of that situation where you are stuck knowingly or unknowingly someone said that I decided that, I, that this is not my field I am not interested anymore in that but now the opposite happens it means Tantra is not trying to transform you but it is not trying to but it actually does transform you through reality not trying Tantra science does not try try anything experiment is not a trial but it actually does transform you through reality the difference between magic and science is the same as between morality and tantra magic and science opposite to one another is the same as the difference between morality and tantra magic also tries to transform things 
it tries to transform things simply through words without knowing the reality. Magician can say that now the rain will stop. He cannot really stop the rain, but when he says the words, or he can say that rain will come, but he cannot start the rain. He can just go on using the words and hypnotize you. So this is what is happens. You want to know how does the philosophy or the psychology works, the psychological elements in the teachings of the Sufi masters. What would you gain from that? and he is using the words. Sometimes coincidence, coincidences are there and then he will feel powerful and if things are not going to happen according to the magic, magician's prophecy, he can always say what has gone wrong. The probability is always hidden in his profession. With magic, everything starts with if. He can say, if everyone is good, virtuous, then rain will come on a particular day. If rain comes, it is okay. If it rain does is not coming, he will say that it seems that there is someone in this congregation who is not virtuous. There is something, someone who is a sinner. <coughs> Even in this century, a person like Gandhi could say when there was a famine in a particular state, eastern state of India, it is because of the sin of the people living in that state that the famine has come. This is ignorance. But we want to live in a state of ignorance, utter ignorance, as if the other parts of the world, the people living in other parts of the world are not sinning. They are sinning only in this particular state where there is a famine. Magic starts with if and that if is great and big. Science never starts with if because science first tries to know what is real, what is reality, what is the real. Once the real is known, it can be transformed. If I know what is your real problem, then it can be sorted out. Once you know what electricity is, it can be changed, it can be transformed, it can be used and many different uses of electricity can be obtained. A magician does not know what electricity is. Without knowing electricity, there is no way that he can transform. But without knowing anything about electricity, he is going to transform it is thinking to transform. Those kind of prophecies are just faults and illusions. Morality is nothing else but like magic. It goes on talking about perfect man and without knowing what man is, what the real man is. Real man is that we are stuck at this particular point. 
the perfect man means as a dream sequence. It is used to condemn the real man that sexuality, the sex is wrong, but you are stuck into it. By saying this, you can never react, you can never reach. So you talk about condemn the real man. If someone says that I want to know about sex, please explain to me more about it, how to go into it. You are considered oh, what kind of a moral person you are. You don't have morality. These things we are not supposed to talk. Tantra is science. Tantra says first know what reality is, what your real question is, what man is and does not create values. Do not create any values, do not create any ideas. First know what is. Do not think of what ought to be. Just think of what is. You are this. Is stuck at this point. If I tell you it is wrong, this is this. No, no, no. Go into it. Go into it totally. And only then you can reach to that level which Holy Prophet or Buddha had. Transcendence can happen only then. Just think of the is, not ought. And once the is is known, you can change it. And then is is the secret to transformation. If you understand what is, what you are, you can transform it. That is the secret. If you can go against, do not go against sex. If you go against it, you can never transform. You will always remain stuck. You will be critical. You will criticize it. You will criticize the Islam. You will criticize this. You will criticize that. No. Understand what is. What does Holy Prophet symbolize? What does Shiva symbolize? What does Buddha symbol symbolize? What is his qualities? And if one of the quality you can bring into you, transformation can begin into you. Only this much for this morning. Until we meet again, take care and do have a pleasant day.